They will not be here until it's 10 o'clock. Tear gas hits, the police come through. Mainstream media is on the outside. They're the first to leave. That's when you know it's going down. With these fools, it's the reason. We got plenty of folks out here. So that's when their bosses told them to leave. Well, they're saying they don't still have police here, right? No, they've been around, so it wasn't here. Well, I mean, they just work next door, so there's always a police. They're like not in the bus and far away. There was four on patrol, as normal. What? That is. Have you guys done any live stuff yet? What was the thing? The bite. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, the, as far as what he said about being in the middle, he didn't want to go down in the middle because he said he didn't want to be a spokesperson, um, that he felt the movement didn't have any, that uh, that was one of the great things about it. Um, one of the other reasons he didn't want to go down is apparently he had knee surgery, I believe. So something along those lines. These um, can be intimidating stunts. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had knee surgery. I imagine that would probably be tough for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he came in a square knee I was like, what? he's like came from the bushes over there. It's funny. I was woken up about 4 o'clock a.m., about 4.30, I think, and there was a lot of noise, a lot of shouting. Police had surrounded the plaza with riot gear, knee pads. They all had helmets, batons, body armor, uh, spaced a few feet apart, I estimate between 110 and 130 police officers in riot gear. Uh, they were kind, they were polite, they weren't overly aggressive. Uh, I heard a few mention to people for people to get out of the street and onto the sidewalk for their own safety. Uh, they looked like they were just maintaining perimeter while tents were collected, uh, I think. Hey, how many people were picked up last night? Like 12? I think it was 12 people were arrested. Uh, they had a bunch, of, a bunch of tents collected in the southwest corner, piled up, and it looked like they were going through the belongings of the tents and putting things in Ziploc baggies and then putting the tents in a pile. There were a bunch of protesters collected on our side of the street, shouting various things, aggressiveness, trying to encourage action. Uh, some of the people that were within the plaza that were willing to be arrested asked the protesters to uh, not encourage violence and to ensure that this is a non-violent movement, which was nice, it was reassuring. And at one point, I heard glass break. It sounded like maybe like a car window. I, I didn't see anything, but it was, it was pretty loud. And then I heard people shouting that 
there was tear canis tear gas canisters hitting the ground, but that was not the case. There was a lot of a lot of yelling, a lot of chaos, people running around the camp saying, Get up, get up, if you came for the protest, then the time is now. Uh, trying to rally as many people as they could, you know, to get over I know, we're all hitting each other with Next to the plaza. <laughs> I was thinking gonna have to do this hard way again. But it seemed it seemed very uh, uneventful. Uh, it looked like they were all Portland police. They barely even had any cars over there. There was two vans. And that's all. They could have walked across the street. You're out of your fucking hell.